My name is Dr. Darren Schmidt. We're gonna talk about unlucky exposures. Watch till the end and you'll get a free bonus so you can see where you're at on the seven step blueprint to optimal health. And that's the goal of this video is for you to understand what it takes to get your health back optimally. I have thousands of five-star reviews on my website and my Google page. I have over 140,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. My clinic has seen over 60,000 nutrition visits in the last five years. This information is useful for people who are really, really sick or even for people who are elite athletes and everyone in between. The goal is to optimize your health. And a lot of people are trying to do this in order to avoid pharmaceutical drugs and their nasty side effects. Now, the reason why you're ill is not because of your personality, your genetics, the fact that you're stressed out and getting older. Those are the common excuses I've heard in the medical profession, but there are a few known reasons why people get chronically ill. And these seven steps address that. Otherwise, the people that I've commonly seen throughout my career, they've been through the medical system failures and they've been to medical doctors and have gotten diagnoses that don't really matter. They don't do anything. For example, I had toxic mold poisoning in 2016. I got like five different diagnoses, esophageal spasm. I had high blood pressure. I couldn't eat red meat for six months. So food allergies. But once I found the mold in my office, then I had the correct diagnosis. The number of causes of chronic illness are finite. There's just a few of them and they're all addressed in these seven steps. Another problem that my patients have seen in the past is that they've been to the holistic or alternative doctors and they were on programs that helped, but once they stopped the programs, their problems came back. They didn't get permanent relief from their health condition. So let's get into the material. We have unlucky exposures and poor lifestyle choices. So those are the two reasons why people get sick. Now I had really good lifestyle choices, diet and exercise, etc for over 20 years. Then I got these horrible symptoms and their cause was an unlucky exposure, mold. My house and my office were both moldy. Now you can have perfect lifestyle choices, a good diet, et cetera, et cetera, but you might have Lyme disease from a mosquito. An insect bites you and it transmits bacteria or parasites and those organisms go into your cells. Now you have fatigue, brain fog, arthritis, muscle aches, from what's called Lyme disease. Now you may have thought that Lyme is typically from a tick. Well, any biting insect can transmit these organisms. Another example is swimming in a river or pond. You can easily pick up a parasite from that. That's an unlucky exposure. Another one is chemical toxicity. I've run a lot of urine tests and everybody has chemical toxicity in their body, not just like double the safe limit or triple the safe limit, but it could be 10 or over a hundred times higher than the safe limit. I recently had a patient, his phthalate exposure, which is related to plastic, was 394 times higher than the safe limit in his body as tested by a urine lab test. These are all examples of unlucky exposures. So you might be off the hook. You've tried changing your diet from plant-based to carnivore, keto, fasting. You've been all over the board with your dietary changes but yet you still have some symptoms that need to go away. So having addressed your diet, you did step one right here. It's called foundational foods. That is the location where you fix up your diet. It is the first thing to do and it has to be good the whole way through. Now the second step has to do with increasing energy. That means increasing energy production inside your cells. That way you have a better immune system, better detoxification abilities, and a better ability to walk around and perform throughout the day without being tired physically or tired in the brain. The third step is called drainage. What that means is, are your organs that clean your body doing well? The lymphatic system, liver, gallbladder, colon, lungs, sinuses, skin, kidneys, bladder. These are all organs that clean the body and that term is called drainage. Now step four is cleaning out the intestines. You might have some parasites, you might have some mucoid plaque sitting in your intestines. There are really good supplements that clean out the intestines. And when you do that, you're lowering the burden of, of organisms in your intestines. That includes all of them, bacteria, fungus, mold, parasites, viruses. This step down here is called full body immune cleansing. There's really good supplements that can clean organisms from head to toe out of your body. Now notice that this is not a pathway that goes up like this. You can have some roller coastering. You can feel good here, but then once you start cleaning out your intestines and getting rid of parasites, you can go backwards and down. And it's part of the healing. I, I try to help people to avoid that, but 
when you're in it and you feel this way, then you know in the long term you're going to get better. You'll get through it. This step right here is called powerful detoxification. This is where I put people on certain supplements and now their skin smells like plastic. Their urine or their stools smell funny because they're detoxing. And when you have those weird smells come out of your body, you know you're getting better. The last step right here, step seven, is called cellular immune cleansing. It means you're cleaning out the inside of the cells. You're getting rid of organisms and toxins from within the cells. There are supplements that can do this really well. I've spent my career figuring out how to get people well. I've been studying and practicing holistic healthcare since 1993. This is my life's work. The last step actually is step O for optimization. That means feeding the organs as you go through this detoxification process. You're supporting and uplifting your organs with nutrition so that they get some nourishment as they're going through the stress of getting cleaned out. Optimization can be done at any of these steps. So when you do step one, you're addressing poor lifestyle choices by making sure your diet's good. When you do steps two through seven, you're addressing the unlucky exposures. Now it's very important that you do this in the correct order. For example, parasites in steps four and five carry heavy metals and chemicals, which is step six. So if you're trying to detoxify, but you got tapeworms or hookworms in your body, what's the point? One time I had a patient come in, she went to a holistic medical doctor who was detoxing heavy metals out of her body and all of her hair fell out. And I had to recover that, I had to fix that, and I found parasites, so I did steps four and five with her, and then she grew her hair back and then she could detoxify properly. Another scenario is if you have poor liver function, meaning drainage isn't working well, or constipation, you have to fix that in step three, and then you can get rid of parasites and then toxins. Basically, if you're not pooping, then all these toxins won't leave your body. Parasites in step four and five also harbor the Lyme organisms. So there's Lyme doctors who specialize in fixing Lyme, but they never do step six, five, four, three, two, or one. So people feel better because they go on antibiotics and herbs to kill Lyme organisms from inside the cells. But then a year later, all their problems come back because they never did the earlier steps. Now there's specialists with throughout these seven steps. There's dietitians and nutritionists who do only step one. They fix your diet up and that's great. Then you gotta find another specialist who cleans out parasites. But that parasite specialist doesn't deal with heavy, uh, Lyme disease or heavy metals, for example. There are specialists in the healthcare community that are all up and down these seven steps, but they don't understand their relationship of where they are and what they're doing to the patient related to the other problems. So there's Lyme doctors that don't understand uh, getting rid of parasites. There's just a few parasite doctors that they don't understand detoxification. There's a lot of detox doctors. They don't know what the diet should be. So putting this all together is the key to improving your health. And I wish it was a gradual increase all the way through, but it's not because there's this part and everybody goes through it. And when you're through it, welcome to the club because you're gonna make it out of there and you're gonna feel so much better. Now I'm giving you three things to take action with. The first one is this seven step blueprint to optimal health assessment and summary. So I have a series of questions that you can go through and answer and figure out where you're at in the seven steps. Now, when you get to step six, for example, which is detoxification or step seven, it really requires lab work. And I'm giving you the opportunity to do a very simple urine test for glyphosate, also known as Roundup. Roundup has been sprayed by farmers and homeowners for many years now, and it's actually in the rain. And most people have Roundup in their body. You have access to this test to find out if you have Roundup in your body. I don't care if you've been eating organic food for the last 20 years. It's in bread at restaurants, it's in organic food, it's in organic wine. But like I said, it's in the rain. It's everywhere. So you can find out if you have some chemical toxicity that way through this lab test. The other thing I'm giving you access to is this free introductory course. It's on my website and I'm giving you lots of information about how to think and function regarding health improvement and those seven steps that we've been going over. So right here is where you sign up after you click on the link. The last thing you can do is become a patient and get direct care. This is my team. You can call the office and you can start that journey right now. Maybe you already figured out step one for yourself or maybe you've already been through some detoxification. We can fill in the gaps and help you along the way so you get fully through all the steps. Okay, time to start, time to take action.